This week on Not Your Average Fangirls. No more lonely. No, I know, bitch. He's probably so no more lonely right now. He's not no more happy anymore. He's not no more happy. He's no more lonely. La Seraphim are back with Unforgiven to empower us all. Lucas is out of NCT and Wavy. And we petitioned for Espa to get a new stylist because this one seems to hate them. Check it out. Hello, everybody. It is Not Your Average Fangirls. Fan girls. Uh, back with another week of K-pop news. It's your girl Kat. Just we're just a few weeks away from me not saying this anymore, but it's in another week without Junhee. Mm, I'm proud of her. So we have about thirty or forty days left until Junhee is back. So Ooh. amazing! Can't wait to make that compilation of Kat just saying that, and then he finally comes back, and then he, he finally, finally comes, comes back. back. I've said yep. it every episode since he's left. So I've been keeping a streak for like a year and a half, everybody. That's, crazy. <laughs> anyway. mm-hmm. That's wild. <laughs> that is wild. Um, so, yes, it's been another week without Junhee. Um, you know, it's starting to be a week without Kai. How sad. I can't believe they did Ugh, that. Mm-hmm. Don't remind me of that. But uh, me and Cynthia are working <laughs> our fangirl magic to see Just B because they randomly got announced for an anime convention in Washington, <laughs> D.C. What? Yep. I thought yeah. it was like, oh, they're doing like a random. Like, no, girl. It's a no. random ass anime convention. <laughs> I love that. Amazing. DC. Okay. Um, and so me and Cynthia are working some black magic. So we will <laughs> probably be there because yeah. we have no self-control. <laughs> Feel it. Yes. Uh, no. Also to all the bitches that mobbed uh, Zero Base One at the airport. I hope uh, that your pillow is hot on both sides tonight. That you can't sleep and that the little gremlin in the bottom of your bed keeps playing with your toes all night, you fucking bitches. <laughs> stub your toe every day. Yeah, I hope you stub your toe every day for the rest Ooh, of your life. Ooh, hate your funny bone. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> hey guys, it's Cynthia. And there's 77 days until I see again. <laughs> so now I have my own proper countdown. Like Kat said... We don't know how, but we will yes. be in attendance because, wow, I'm just so excited to see them again. It's going to be <sighs> I'm excited for magical. Y'all. Thank and you. And at an anime convention? Like, come on. <laughs> I know. Exactly. It's Taylor made for us. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. You guys don't even know. And hello, everybody. This is Carolina. And I just want y'all to know that I'm moving like Woo! five days and that's stressful um but also i'm very excited um but also somebody make me take the sun with me thank you girl it's hot as fuck <laughs> the sun yeah, is here it's hot as fuck here yeah. here will be all right the sun is already, already here, here waiting yeah. for you it's just gonna be gone a lot after we like expect, the next couple months we express shipped it from florida so it's already here <laughs> yeah good i'm gonna need it i'm gonna have to start taking vitamin d oh no you're gonna love um the summer hair you're gonna be fine up even you're you're even gonna enjoy fall you're actually gonna get seasons carolina be thankful yeah i know like that's wild to me i'm just like what what you mean it's not just hot hot hotter (laughs) but anyways besides that everybody Strike is having a comeback soon. I am very excited. Also, Jackson Wang was just at Barclays. Barclays, and he sold that shit out, and mm-mm, reminded me of 2018 when GOT7 sold that shit out too. They were the first K-pop group to do it, and now here's Jackson doing it again. But Jackson, I have beef. What you mean? We couldn't bring light sticks in. How dare you? <laughs> well, he had the little finger light sticks, probably. So that's why. Well, yeah, but still, like, how much fun would be an agabong? Like, you know. But anyways, I respect your wishes. I guess. Because you <laughs> did, he did say it. He said, he said, no license will be allowed. So I get it. Okay, he did put rules. We just didn't follow. Or the people that <laughs> the people that brought the license. Also, Terika's not with us this week. But if she was, she would say, "Hey guys, it's your girl Terika, Jamin." And that and that was it. <laughs> Drops yeah. mic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> While she holds her sign, Jamin plushy. Yep. As she should. As she should. Yeah, but yeah. But let's get this week started. Last week, uh, Cynthia and I did a little shaka. Uh, album review so you guys can go listen to that so it wasn't like a normal podcast so we're kind of combining a couple things from the past two weeks um but it got announced recently that bts is gonna be releasing a book (laughs) that apparently they're writing are they really nobody knows like it's in collaboration yes with the reverse journalist person yeah yeah Yeah. it's like a 10-year record basically of the last 10 years because you know, it's going to come out July 9th. That's <laughs> wild. I'm just wondering, like, what the hell are they going to do for their 10 year? Girl. Like, I'm so curious. 
I know. Well, this is probably going to be where Nam June releases that he's married with six kids. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Right. Jin, Jin's a married man. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I mean, we have always wanted a tell all, and I hope that this is it. I hope this is the tell all. Right. I, I damn hope so. <laughs> oh my so. god, are we gonna get the like tea on why Jimin and Jungan from Twice hate each other? That's what I want. Oh. Uh, I imagine. That is one of the eight <laughs> wonders of the world. I need to know. Okay. <laughs> I need to know the beef. Please tell us the tea. I wonder if it was just like a you know like a vibes thing like they didn't vibe yeah. with like they met each other and they didn't vibe with each other and they're like i don't like his vibe and she he was like i don't like her vibe so now every time they see each other they're like oh god like stank bitch. face yeah yeah imagine they end that. up dating later on like and that was it enemies to lovers Wild. anyways <laughs> <laughs> but uh but we'll see i kind of want it to be like how they said that it's like oh it's them writing it and not just like you know how sometimes they'll just take maybe like past postings yeah. or something like and just put them all in a book and be like, a book. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, but thanks for that. Kingdom announced that they are going to be oh, touring so the USA. i fucking excited. They're coming to fucking Vancouver. Okay. Yeah. They said, we're going to give you one cat. And it's in September, which like, perfect. Because I got nothing going on in September so far. Well, I mean, Icon. But technically, Icon's not coming anywhere near me. So that's like, maybe I'll go. But I'm so excited. Yeah. I cannot wait. I'm so excited because seeing them live has been on my to-do list. And I will be there. I will be there. And it's Studio PAV, which they always have, like, the fan sign shit and, like, the snap shoots and yeah. whatever. And so. Yeah. The snap shoots. Yeah. yeah. Girl, I'm so excited. I want to go, too. <laughs> want to go. We're going to go. They're the ones doing for Cravity. And um, the those snap shoots sold out in, like, a minute. Oh, for Cravity? Yeah. Yeah. Like, that was yeah. crazy. But that's good for them. And... I hope that a lot of fans go. I know that uh, my friend Luna already bought her light stick for it. Like, she's super excited because she's definitely going. And oh I found out that, that Kingdom has, like, different light sticks, like, with each member. Like, it's, like, yeah. member identified. I did not know that. Yeah. I'm so excited to see them. I'm, like, really, actually so fucking excited because, like, their choreos are always so fucking beautiful. Like, I can't wait. In some Saturn news, we have a couple idols that will, I mean, is KQ. Um, we all from ATs and Psychers, John Hoon will be both taking hiatus. Yeah, we on hit oh. his um he has an ankle injury, so he's just yes. gonna be taking a little break. My husband and my son. I can't believe that's this. true. But yeah, so uh John Hoon is also uh gonna be taking hiatus because he had my to have baby. like emergency knee surgery and that's my wild. Poor baby. My poor baby. What, do, what are they doing to my babies at KQ? Yeah, no, it's why I... So when I read that he was going to take a hiatus, I was just like, okay, like, maybe it's just, like, something small. No, like, emergency, like, knee surgery. Knee surgery. I was like, I was oh, like, what the heck? Ah. What the heck happened there? But hopefully they both come back better than ever and they have a speedy recovery because, you know, they need to go and kill it out there. Period. In good news, though, uh, Woolem decided to be nice. <laughs> Woolem <laughs> Entertainment. <laughs> Actually, like, they've always been nice, yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, they're they're a good company. Will Entertainment, the CEO, um, gave the trademarks to Infinite to which the leader, crazy. which is so cute, which is insane, and he did it as like a birthday gift. That is so sweet. He loves, but why? He loves all of his. Groups. I love that. I'm just like happy that this is like a trend. I hope that it continues. So even if groups decide to part ways with different companies, like they're still able to, you know, keep their songs sing and them, name yeah. and so things they like can that. Sing their name, song. Yeah, and yeah. sing them. My God, and I have to pay a fee every time I that know, they right? perform it. <laughs> and Omega X yes. finally terminated officially their contract with Spire Entertainment. Everybody, boo Spire! Tomato, tomato, tomato. Congratulations, Omega X. It's what you all deserve. Truly, so happy that they're out of that. They uh, hopefully another company is just like all right gonna swoop in and yep. go from there because they're so talented and they deserve this like Period. second chance that they have and uh some uh, i guess i mean like i don't really know exactly what happened but team top like they said that they were gonna have a comeback because they got like a lot of attention off of a variety show i don't remember which one and um all of a sudden it was just like oh team top this team top that but then do you say his name cap yeah i think it's cap but i mean I, yeah I, I don't know for sure i don't be i mean listen i've i was never into team top i'm sorry and so there's that but cap went on <laughs> he just went on live and some people got mad and now he's out of, the, out of the group but you could tell that he was probably way over it he was just like i don't even want to do this anymore but i think that that's low-key bullshit like i mean i don't know it's, bro. it's like it's one it's of those things life. where it's like i don't know like i literally I I have a situation 
No idea. Like, I can't, like you could put Teen Top in front of me on the street. I would know, like, two of them. I would know two of them. I would know, like, two because it's that fine muscle no, who are you one people? with the tattoos. That's not Cap, the other one. There's another one that's, like, fine and all tatted. Him and then Neil. Those are the only ones I know. The rest of them, I'm not a fucking clue. But anyways, yay. Teen Top are coming back for anybody that likes them and has been a fan of them for forever. And, uh... <sighs> the biggest news of the week, everybody. Lucas, <sighs> we've been <laughs> oh baby, we we've been saying for so long that we wanted Lucas back, and SM said mm, we thought about it for two years, two? and he's still with the yeah, company. I just- Two years. Two years, bro. So this two is my years issue with the situation. For them to say, hey, he's out of the group. He's out of the group, but he's still with the company. I'm like, what this was the is point my of that? Situation. They were giving us like, okay. So if they like from the start would have been like, look, Lucas is on a hiatus until we talk about it further, like done. Okay? Then this kind of news would come eventually right and we're not gonna we would expect it right but no they were just like oh like lucas yes. is gonna take some time and then they put wavy on hiatus so we were like why is wavy on hiatus like what wavy do wavy didn't do nothing they just out here living their life I'm and saying. then win got shipped to china and we we're like oh damn, oh god here we go you know we got post-traumatic stress from <laughs> exo china line from Excellent. So we're like, oh, God, here we go. And then Win Win is like a part of Wavy, but he's not really like always with Wavy. And then there's Wavy, Wavy. So it's Lay yeah, all so over it's like again. Wavy, Wavy. And then like Wavy and Win Win, which is like Win Wavy. And like you just need, you, you don't know. Like you don't know. It's all confusing. And like where has Lucas been all this time? Was he living with Wavy? Was he just watching them go to their schedules? Or did he like live by himself? Like, What's Bella doing? Isn't Bella Lucas's dog? Like, I'm just very confused about so many elements (laughs) to what's happening. There's so many questions. There's so many questions about Lucas. Like, there's just so... The situation is just wild. I am mad because... I'm mostly mad because they made Wavy take that break. Like, I'm... That's the thing that I'm mostly pissed about because what the fuck was the point of you Mm. making them take that break when they were at the... Yo, their momentum was going. Their momentum was going. You should have still released that Dan Jalapeno song because now, guess what? It's still out there because somebody Mm -hmm. hacked into whatever and the video's out there because I saw some of it. You should have just said... Yeah, you should have just sold it yourself. Yep. You Mm -hmm. should have just fucking released it, made some money out of it, and then been like, all right, Lucas, is taking hiatus but you should have released the song at least Hendry worked so hard on that and you just destroyed it not but not only, only that, that but like wait there's, so ma- there's just so many unanswered questions first of all why two years like what <laughs> yeah. happened from this first conversation when it first happened to now suddenly two years later you're like you know what we should probably just end it here like what <laughs> what was <laughs> like the, what the fuck what was the timeline I need to know the timeline. Was it like, oh, the beginning this happened, and then, oh, they thought about bringing him back, and then Lucas maybe had some trouble wanting to come back, and so they extended it, and then Luke was like, I'm ready, but then SM was like, ooh, are we ready? And, like, I just need to know the timeline. (laughs) Because, like, fucking whatever his name is, Lee Suman's fucking nephew or whatever was all, like, lovey-dovey all up on Lucas posting pictures. Lucas was starting to post pictures in the practice room, and they got us all excited. And I feel bamboozled. Oh, I feel bamboozled. I I I definitely feel bamboozled because I felt like, oh, there's okay, like it's happening. Like okay, Lucas, Lucas is coming back. And also, how's Do Young doing? Because Do Young was all about NCTs forever. Like none of us are ever gonna leave. Now look at this. And I just there's so like it's Stella. Is somebody Stella okay? Like (laughs) somebody. Somebody did like a, a a compilation of Hechan and Lucas, and I was so sad. I was like, "Bro," because that's my thing. Like that, those were my those are my questions too. Like, was he just living with them? Like, is there beef now between yeah, like, like him and, and and maybe like and Henry CT. or something? Right. Like, like like what what happened? Because this decision a came out of the blue. We never got any explanation as to like. Oh, we're gonna look into it. They never did, so you never look Ever. into the situation at all. Like right. nobody knows. You just expected us to all forget. Like no, bitch. Like you know the amount of people. I know that a lot of people wanted Lucas out of it, but like the amount of people that still wanted Lucas to be in that group, like was higher than the people that wanted him to leave. So what the fuck? It was all the cryptic shit. It was all mm-hmm. like the little fucking cryptic shit. It was the oh, let's post a picture or oh, let me post this picture of the beach, and we were like, oh my god, Lucas, and then oh my god. The, mo- the motherfucking SM man posted a picture with Lucas and we were like, what does this mean? What does and this mean? 
I know that it was in the middle of all like the high bullshit, so he probably was just doing it for favoritism. But like at that point, I was I was g- gasping for like some type of hydration in this desert that I was living in, and so then you're just like, okay, what's going on? Like, is it a, like is he okay? Like, is he all right? Like, what does he look like? We didn't see Lucas for like a year. Like, we had no idea. Was he like healthy, whatever? And then the pictures, the pictures of him and Kai and Jeju came out. You remember that mm-hmm. shit? And we were all oh, yeah. like, we were Dying. celebrating in the streets. We were setting off fireworks. We were going crazy. We were popping party poppers. We were like, oh, and then we were like, oh my god, Lucas is healthy. He's happy. And then the fucking picture with the SM man, and we were like, oh my god. And then him in the practice room, and we we're like, oh my god. No, that's why I was <laughs> like, he's coming back. He's coming back to wavy. No, we were ba- like, I have never been so bamboozled in my life. Like, we this was playing. the biggest, we did. This was the biggest plot twist ever. Like, we got <laughs> played heavy. Like, I, ooh. That's ooh, like they, a motherfucking ooh. violin. They said, they said, it was bad, yo. I'm still shook about it. And then, like, this begs the question. What the fuck is he going to do with the solo? But also, what happened? What happened from one point to another? What was it? Who was the one that was just like, I'm over this toxicness. I can't do it. What was like, it? I like, need, did he like, sit down broke? with all the members of NCT? That's a lot. That's a big ass boardroom. <laughs> but did he like sit down with all the members? Of, okay, how y'all feeling about it? And they were just kind of like, eh, nah. Or if they were like, like, don't come back. Oh no, yeah, we want you to come back. And then Lucas was like, oh yikes, I don't want to come back. Or was it just like SM like, okay, you're not coming back. Like I just have so many. Like there's just so many unanswered questions. We're never gonna know the answers <laughs> to them until he's like completely out of SM and like all that jazz. And, and he, he talks, talks his shit, shit like you know like Tao and all them did when they left SM. Which like I can't wait for that day. Yeah. But I just is the dog okay? Because that was Lucas's dog, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm just so worried about Bella. Like is she all right? It's true though and it's just like bruh like there's so many unanswered questions was he living with wavy is he living by himself like <laughs> is he back home in china like is he, it's it just like him is it just lucas like chilling well i saw i saw a picture of him with win-win literally like the day after they announced the whole thing yeah there's a I picture of too. him with win-win i think they were out eating so i'm just like listen at least for me i'm just like as long as hopefully there's like no bad blood between them because like I know that a lot of the members like really doted on him like yeah. really really like you know loved on him and stuff mm-hmm. I'm so, just so upset it's, it's kind of like that but why the fuck would you take him out I just want to know because like what the fuck is Lucas gonna do solo I am sorry I love I the man like but gonna like mo- he's gonna be a face he's gonna be a model maybe do some acting in China mm-hmm. it makes me so sad because he was Mark's only friend in, S- in, in, in NCT he was literally the only same age friend for Mark and I was just because him and Lucas trained together and like he loves Lucas <sighs> so much and now they're best but one thing listen, and they were like such a good duo too they like they're such a good duo together listen to me the the one thing I'm hanging oh. on to, and everyone can think I'm delusional for this, because they Super said M. NCT and Wavy. <laughs> they didn't say nothing about Super M, and bitch, I am That's true. holding on to You're that right. hope. I am holding on to that hope that he'll still be in us. If that's M. the sure. only group he's in, you know what? Like, I'll take my damn L's at this point. Because yes, <laughs> I will hold on into that little flicker of hope. It's literally the size of a pea right now. That's how big my hope is. But, bitch, I'm hoping I can plant Literally. it in the ground like Jack and the Beanstalk, and that shit's going to just grow into whatever Super M is going to be. Look, I'm holding on to hope, and y'all can call me delusional. You're right. I am 100% delusional. Y'all don't know me. And <laughs> y'all can tell me I'm crazy and like, no, bitch, why would he say But I am holding out hope because why wouldn't he still be in Super M? They didn't say nothing about Super yep. M, so why wouldn't he be in it? And, like, they didn't even say, oh, like, he's out of wavy. And that's it. No, they said NCT and Wavy, but they didn't say nothing about Super, Super M. M. They didn't say yeah. nothing about Super M. So, like, bitch, I'm holding on to hope. And, I mean, like, listen, everybody, Super M is a face. But, like, Kai now went to do his uh, damn man duty and be in the military and shit. <laughs> man um, duties. Yeah. Not the man duties. You know, they need a face, like a striking face, you know, like like Lucas, okay? So, he needs to be in Super M. Thank I'm you for coming saying. to my TED Talk. I'm just saying. And also, you know, if anybody, I have a, a few super rare Lucas photo cards. So if anybody's looking, I, I'll sell them to you. <laughs> no problem. Um, <laughs> I also have Lucas photo cards if anybody is <clears throat> interested. No, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm holding on to that little flicker of hope because like China hates him. Korea hates him. Some of the U.S. hates him. But most international fans, we chilling. Okay, you a hoe. That's yep. right. That's, that's all it is. 
So am I. Like, like <laughs> we're out here. Okay, we're out here. I cannot believe that all this shit, two years, ends like this. Anyways, um, so we shall wait um, for Lucas to pop up and do something. And we'll we see what there. happens. <laughs> and see what happens. Girl, I'm like. Listen, at this point, if he's just like, I, I'm going to be modeling something, then fuck. I guess well, I'm I guess I'm never going to see. Yeah, like, and I guess I'm never going to see that man again in the real in real life. But anyways, <sighs> the Damn. sadness. I cannot believe we waited two years for this shit. For nothing. We waited for two nothing. years to get You know what? If anybody's a gaslighter, it's USM. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Dead Not Lucas. Dead but anyways, ass. everybody, we're going to move on to our comebacks for this week because, you know, if not, we're going to keep talking about Lucas forever because justice. Um... <laughs> One is dropped Erase Me. Um, Cynthia, they did this one for the DJ Girls. That chorus breakdown <laughs> thing is definitely for us. And, yes, that was for you because um, it was not for me. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm digging this dancey sound for them. They look good. Tiny Dance King Wong doing his thing. Period. Wow. I will say, um, RBW, uh, if you ever cut Ito's hair, I'm going to fucking come for you. I'm going to find you. I'm gonna find you. Just remember, just remember the words. Um, I like the song. I like the violins in like the pre-chorus part. I love that. I love the vocals. They were eating it up. Keone, wow. Mm -hmm. He wow. always just always killing it. Let's eating it up. It. Okay, okay. Shion eating it up. Ido <laughs> eating it up. Suho eating it up. Like, but you know, with that hair, honestly, Kat, I agree. Like, he just he looks like a different man, but like, mm -hmm. like. The same still man. so good yeah exactly like but still so like good yes listen the album's good like the rest of the songs are b -b -b banging they're great <laughs> uh, i haven't heard yeah i haven't heard it yet i agree and also i love that you mentioned the violin part because that part specifically reminds me of be mine which was yes. their song from road to kingdom and yeah, yeah. I heard it, right? I'm obsessed with the choreography, especially during the chorus. Yes. Uh, I love that. But um, RBW's producers couldn't connect the individual parts well enough for me. Like, to me, this is their most generic release. And it doesn't feel like the members. Yeah, no, it, 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 it sounds very, like, not something that One Is would put out. Exactly, exactly. Like, it still feels... Like one is like that callback. That's like callback to be mine, and also the, um, the intro of like right before Wung started like doing his like little sing rap thing, mm -hmm. right there specifically. I'm not gonna say what it calls back to, mm -hmm. but y'all know. And <laughs> um, I just wanted to say that I'm also glad that they didn't give rapper Suho right straight off the bat because. You know, the wound is, is still there. Yeah, that would have been like, ouch, even though, you know, Soho is an amazing rapper and I love all of the times that he does. Um, I'm just saying that Wung was the smarter choice of, um, you know, doing that. But, um, you know, <clears throat> they sound great. They look great. They're doing great. I love them. Uh, one more thing, though. Echo is that bitch, and I... <gasps> Cynthia, stop. We are the same person. <laughs> you know what's funny? You know what's funny, though? It's because... Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to say some tea right now, but... We love tea. <laughs> on all previous albums, for, like, all of the credits, right? Ido was always heavily involved with writing his raps and, like, was, like, composing more and producing more and um, all over the song credits, right? Tell me why this is the first album that Ido is the only one that's member credited. And he's credited once. For what? what? he composed and wrote Echo. Period. <laughs> because that's my favorite song on the whole fucking EP. Bro, so that song, to me, that's one is. Like, that's... So good. I... Oh, my God. And the lyrics are very spicy. They are. Like, Ido. Okay. I said he wrote this about me. <laughs> 100%. Kat, don't, don't give yourself away like that. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's a secret. <laughs> Keep don't it the don't edit that out, Carolina. Edit that out. <laughs> oh, my God. Gasps in Spanish. I'm going to accidentally forget to edit it out. <sighs> but, yeah, the song, um, you know, I liked it. it. It's good. It's good, you know. But um, it's not one us to me, and I love them so much. But, um, yeah, Echo is that bitch. <laughs> I think it's going to take... Mm -hmm. Maybe one more comeback or or two more for them to kind of get back into figuring out their sound. Yeah. But, you know? I'm just like, 
ups uh, okay i understand that like they kind of have to figure out a lot of stuff because before this it's very um you know all of the albums connected well together either yeah. like the stories or musically the covers and everything and i understand that it has to be like a new era right and mm -hmm. um i get it i just you know wish that they didn't have that they wouldn't have had to be working this entire time that they were <laughs> Um, in between this um, comeback and just like have to carry on um, I really wish that they would have had the time to process um, yep. mm. what happened and their emotions and really get that feel in and then you know ease them into it but we're talking about RBW so obviously that's not gonna happen <sighs> sadly sad times I do think that, yeah, this is, like, a very, like, general song, though. Um, yeah. But I've noticed that a lot of, like, the general public is liking this song. Of course. Yeah. So. Which was the safe, it was, like, the safe release, which I yes. get. But one is, uh, but, like, what I love about them so much is that they, that they would take their music to different routes and they would play around with, like, themes and concepts mm -hmm. and just, mm -hmm. and their music and their styling i that's what i love about what is and you know um i just wish that they would a that they would be allowed to express themselves as they always have been you know yeah i got you i got you. i feel like they're like in this like glass cage now and i feel horrible for them mm -hmm. because i care about them deeply <sighs> and other news suho looks great <laughs> amen amen to that I like his, like, two-tone hair. Like, the way they dyed it was really cool. Yes, I love that. And, you know, like, we've been saying, my bestie Ida, you know, carrying <sighs> all this. Love carrying that. the legacy of being hot. like Carrying the legs, <laughs> carrying the torch that he yep. is. That bitch. That bitch. Will yes, always be that bitch. Has been <laughs> that bitch. And I'm seeing a, listen, I'm seeing a lot of hoes jump on the bandwagon. And I welcome you. <laughs> I, welcome welcome to the party but also know your place <laughs> okay, you know? like get Chill get out. in back line up. it's a line and you're in the back okay like mm -hmm. yes down. you're in the very back of the line okay our the wristbands up here are numbered we're one through like 50 y'all gotta get back <laughs> Go <to> yeah <laughs> okay. you're not fighting in this line just get with the program mm -hmm. he looks good with that long hair i'm just like lots of more idols are doing that too i'm like Ooh. and he's doing like a half up half down mm -hmm. like bun thing oh, i love just, that wow I love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. well moving along then b2b also return with wind and wish I, anytime that they release something, honestly, I'm glad it wasn't a ballad because I'm just like, I love you guys, but like. Enough with the ballad. Like, please, I know that y'all got vocals for days on point. I love y'all. I, I like... get it. But I can't take them seriously. Did you see Sung Jae in that one where he was looking at the flower? I started, I was cackling. <laughs> I like there's some without Ilhun there's just something missing for me. Yeah. There's just something yeah. missing for me. Like without him it's just very like one note for me in the rap game. <clears throat> So yeah, yeah. No, I feel yeah. I, I I completely get it. Like so, yep. my thoughts on this song is like I'm pr I'm probably not gonna go back to it. No, no, no. But no. the <laughs> fact the way that I enjoyed it while I watched it because they are just so funny. Like they're so comical no matter what. Like anytime I'm just <laughs> like, why are you sad? Give them. <laughs> <laughs> And then he's like, no, no, don't give up. Okay. He's, he's, he's so funny for that. Like, I can't. They're just so comical, all of them. Like, I <laughs> I love them. Like, I love B2B's personality. Like, all of them are just hilarious. Their music, I never connected with. Maybe one or two songs, but that's about it. But them as people, Yeah, bitch, there's I like three or four songs that I yeah. like of, of yeah. theirs. Like, like, it's like a short list. But like, again, as people, and like, I know that they're good as performers. Like, I, I get that. Amazing vocals mm -hmm. and stuff. It's just, you know, the music was never for me. But like, again, them... <laughs> Like every time, every we time I them. look at them, I can love automatically them. think of a damn meme or something funny that they Dodge did. Dodge a house! <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite <laughs> TikTok video of all time. Like, you don't like, understand. Who told you him? You don't understand. <laughs> that is my favorite K-pop video of all time. And me fucking Derek. 
friend, our friend Kiki literally laughed about it for hours one night. Oh, <laughs> we just kept replaying it and replaying it and replaying oh, it. Oh my god. Da da ha. It's just so funny. Sung Jay is so funny. Like oh, he yeah. is king. Like literally they're all just comedy kings and it's hilarious. And I also just I could have ne- like never in my life like at first, like when I first got heavy, heavy into like fandom with K pop, like with B2B, I was just like, Yeah, Peniel is cool, but now I'm just like, I can't take you seriously, my bro. Like I just can't. Anything you say, I'm just like, mm. I just love that like B2B was like me and Carolina's first taste of K pop together because we literally walked into K Con New York in twenty sixteen and we were just walking, minding our business. And security said, Stop and we're like, Oh, excuse me and then there goes B2B. Yep. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, okay. Then I can't believe I was that close okay. to some Jay. i think about it i was like damn i was close to a comical genius with all of them actually but like anyways girl the only thing i wrote for this song was arms (laughs) yes okay yes factual like see that's the thing like i really like the visuals of the music video like the music video was really cute it was fun like i really liked it but like again like it's a song that i'm probably not gonna go back to and like you know that's it i haven't heard the rest of the album but like i said b2b's music like i just never connected with it like that we get it we get it but it's not for exactly us. <laughs> exactly that now something that is for for us and for the girlies and for everybody out there let's surf it okay Ugh. came out with unforgiven my let God. me tell you i was scared I was scared because I kept I reading was not. before I heard the song, no. before I heard the song, I kept reading people being like, mm, this is not anti-fragile. This is not this. I'm like, oh, damn, don't tell me. And it's not supposed but to be. But it's not supposed yeah. to be. But the song slaps. The song is so good. It's so good. It's so fucking good. Bitch, the dance too. I can't. Yes. Oh, it's so good. When they're like holding hands and shit, like, ooh, let's yes. go all together. <laughs> let's go all together to be on hinge. And I'm like, oh, okay, let's go. Let's go do hood red shit with my friends. Like, that's all I got. Oh. I added this to my empowered yeah. playlist. Y'all already Literally. know. Literally, yes. Y'all already Literally. know. And I want to talk about the drone, uh, the drone shot at the beginning of the music Beautiful. video. I just need to talk about that. And also with like following the arrow, which is probably obviously CGI, but I digress. It's so good. I'm <laughs> obsessed with that In shot. In order to get that too, like damn, mm-hmm. like so I good. How many takes they had to fucking do. from far away too. Uh, ah, yeah. like the amount of prep. That's it. Shout out to you, producer. You did that. <laughs> you did. And also, like, who was the, at the beginning? It was um. Oh, Kasua. Kasua. The, the angel wings, or the when at the very start at the table. At the very very start. Yeah, that's the table. Kasua. So Kasua at the beginning. <laughs> when I first watched this video and I saw her stand up, and I was like, that bitch is not wearing. I know. Same. Pant- but- pantless. Pantless. <laughs> yeah. Pants. Oh my god. I was like, same. What? Same. Yep, yep. I was like, are those chaps? Like, you got your booty cheeks out? And I'm like, oh, wait, no, it's not. <laughs> it's like, was, it was white. I did, too. I was like, wait, what? I had to rewind it a few times. I was yeah. like, oh, hold on. I was like, but nah. then she's wearing them again in another scene, and you can see they're, like, white mesh, Okay, because like, I was just like, there ain't no way. Ain't no way they put this girl ass cheeks But out. if they did, yes, period. I mean, I would have been all about it, but, you know, mm-hmm. like. I'm there for the vision. Hey, nets and stuff. Like, but I see what they did, yep. an illusion of that. That's what Listen, they were doing. Let me tell you so. that the reason <laughs> I love Les Seraphim stylist is because she knows how to play with body shapes, okay? Or they know how to play with body shapes because they do yes. like cut out. Like, Sakura is also wearing this bodysuit towards the end that like is cut out and it just shapes yes. her body so well. Mm. I'm just like, yes, yes, accentuate yep. it, okay? Yep. Yeah. Girl, and Yunjin's off outfit with the corset, the black corset with the mini, like, the t-shirt. Yes. I want that. I want yes. that so bad. Yep. That is so fire. Everything about this styling was so mm-hmm. fucking dope. Mm-hmm. And I love that they made Sakura a fucking samurai. Yes. She had the La Seraphim sword. Love that. I also love Cheyun in that little, like, cowboy hat outfit that she oh, had yeah. on with, like, the mini skirt. Oh, and the gloves. I love her. Not- Anytime God. I see her, I feel like I'm like, I need to be a bad bitch when I see her. Like, <laughs> yeah. you want is fucking like insane. literally yeah, she exudes real. bad bitch energy. And I'm like, I want to be just like you when I grow up, <laughs> even though you're probably younger than me. But still, like, <laughs> it don't it. matter. Like, I hope they never like give Chewan long hair. She needs to just have yes. short hair forever mm-hmm. because the bob, she just Rocks the bobby it. bobbin. Okay. <laughs> The Bobby Bobbin. Like, she's she just like, yes. Okay, because I was like, she exudes that energy too. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I, I need yes. to know. Perfect. They did like, that perfectly. And I'll, I'm just like, 
I just, I love the wow. They just mm-hmm. fucking ate it up. Also, this mini album, fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. Oh, I have to listen to it. People can go on and on about how, oh, it's not, it's not anti-fragile. It's not supposed to be. And this was a fucking banger. Whoever sang this song isn't good. Y'all, clean out your ears. Mm-hmm. Read, like, let's mm-hmm. do this again. Stop being so judgmental. Just have a good time. They just look like they were having fun. And they look like they're yeah. having fun on the live stages. And it's yep. just mm-hmm. a bad bitch energy song. And I love that for them. Mm-hmm. And I love that they're staying in that, in that realm of, like, music, like, song making. Yeah, they're basically just like, you know, come fuck it up with me and the girlies. And I'm yeah. like. Who am and I that's the type no of that? vibe we want and need exactly. in this yeah. world, okay? They're like, bitch, we were f- 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 fearless, then we were anti t t t fragile, now we're fucking villains, okay? Come fuck with me, okay? Mm-hmm. Like, try me, bitch, we fighting. I was like, and Ooh, there's, let's go. There's like a ver- there's a, a lyric in Unche's thing where she was like, yeah, we're La Seraphim, and I was like, yes, you are, bitch, you better go out. I was like, you better go oh, out. that's, that, yeah, 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 it's, um, let me tell you about La Seraphim. I was yes, like, yes, I was like, yes. <laughs> tell him. Tell, tell them about them, it. Baby, you tell them little Listen, baby. I'm so happy with this. I feel like they have like a consistent like theme and like yep. concept that they're going for and like they kill it. The outfits are amazing. I feel like it Yo, the styling each, is just, Yeah, like wow. the styling is crazy. Anytime I see that, I'm just like, I I need that outfit somehow. Like I need it in my life. Like Yeah, damn. they just exude confidence and like Yep, yep, yep. Yep. It's just amazing. I just, I love it. I love it. I love that Niall Rogers worked on this, which if people don't know who Niall Rogers is, like, legendary producer, like, musician, like, amazing. He's worked with, like, Pharrell, Daft Punk, like, amazing, right? Fucking incredible. Like, the fact that they got him to do this song is fucking wild. Like, it's just, it's good. It's, like, it's just good. They're just good, okay? The choreo is amazing. Like, what, just... Please. Again, the mm-hmm. choreo while they're like they're holding hands and doing that shit, like the unforgiven. I'm a villain part. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Too. And then the villain, yeah, the thing with the little like cachito, yeah. the little like um devil horn things. Yes, I love. I'm it. obsessed. I freaking love this. So yeah, but I was scared because at first, like people were, like when it first came out, they were just like, oh, like it's not, it's not the same. Wrong. Like, it's it's <laughs> not as it's not gonna be as popular. And I was just like, damn, like what's the song? But when I heard it, I was like, Mm-mm, like <laughs> it's a completely about? different like like styling of song and everything, like genre. Like it's just it's. But good. also, I just think it's it's unfair to hold groups especially rookie groups to a style or perspective that you think they need to be in right because just because they did anti-fragile doesn't mean they're gonna do that again then it just gets boring and repetitive like i don't want another anti-fragile <laughs> like i have anti-fragile yeah, we really maybe one. down the line but we just got one yeah like, i already have anti-fragile yeah now i got <laughs> unforgiven i'm a villain <laughs> i'm a <Yeah>. like <laughs> It's so good. They look so good. I literally, like, visuals are just wow. Wow. They just fucking, they eat it up. And you can tell that they just, like, have so much fun. I cannot wait to see them at KCON. I'm already just putting it out there. They're going to be there. And I'm going to see them. And I'm going to be screaming the lyrics to every fucking song. (laughs) Like, screaming them at the top of my fucking lungs. I'm excited. Like, seeing them in concert, like... It was going to be wild, and they already announced, like, their plan for doing a world tour at the end of the year, so I'm like, I'll be there. <laughs> Love that, because, yes, I need to... I love that song. It's a fragile. It's a fragile. But Seraphim really, like, damn, came out swinging. Brainwashed. They just brainwashed me, because now... With a bitch. They brainwashed me, like... What you looking at? What you what you looking at? What you looking at? What you what you looking at? And now it's I'm forgiven. I'm a villain. I'm a hey, hey, like what? My unforgiving girl. I was like, yeah, that's me. I'm a forgiving girl. I love that. They were just like, oh, like yeah, because when they do like, oh, like the unforgiving girls, they do unforgiven boys. They're just like we do not discriminate in this house. Like everybody, everybody gonna come. It's for everybody. Yes, <laughs> this song is for everybody. So I, I love that. it. They're doing so well. I can't wait to go listen to the album. I've been so, so busy this week. Good. So I'm excited. Um, another song that people are uh, le talking, Espa, um, <laughs> came out with Spicy. Queen Ning Ning. That's all I got to say. Ning Ning dear is God, that bitch. She I is definitely that bitch. That animal print thing with the pony, the to the pigtail. Oh, baby. Uh, yes. Ning Ning is that bitch. Listen, this song, I enjoy. I don't 
don't hate this song. I like the song. A lot of people are yeah, like, like, I hate this song. I like it a lot. What I hate is the atrocious ass styling that they put these girls in. Like, what do you have them wearing? The only good outfit in that whole music video is the one where they were dancing on the streets. And that's wild to me. Okay, because it was like dark oh, yeah, half the, the time. Yeah, because it was dark half the time. And listen, I don't know what beef the stylist got with Giselle, but damn, like Yo, they, they need to they let it her. go. They just let it go. (laughs) Like everything they put her in is a mess, and I'm like, do you not like? Excuse me, like, like, bitch, they put her in like multi tone gym shorts and a t shirt. I was like, what the fuck is happening right now? I was like, I could buy this for five ninety nine at Ross Dress for Less. This is not (laughs) what they need to be wearing on stage. Thank you. No, like for me, the only styling that like stood out was again Ning Ning's. Like when she had the animal print with the pigtails, like I was like, okay, like kill it. But then like besides that, also like I'm mad that they bleach fucking Karina hair but i will admit she rocks it but at the same she time good. She like good. i still would like her shiny like yo but her hair like during the beginning like that she, she had bro i just got it's just hair. it just makes me mad because like it was so distracting like the song when you just listen to like their little album that they released is so good like it's good like it's not bad at all whatsoever but i don't the know why music Wild. But it threw me off, and the live stages too. Like they're not, get- girl. There's outfits for the studio too. I literally wanted to punch something. I was like, there is no way that they styled fucking winter in this fucking Target pajama set. Like there's just no fucking way. <laughs> I hate it. What's happening at SM? SM is slowly crumbling, bro. It's scary. Listen, Cacao got all their money tied up. Cacao was yep. like, oh yeah, we got all your money. We're not gonna spend it on no stylist or nothing right now. Like how many? like fire that for person. that just let them dress themselves at this point they could do a like, better bitch, job i'm saying like fire the stylist listen to me sm listen let's hire cynthia and terica like they got a great <laughs> style and fashion and yeah stuff. i wouldn't say job. hire me like maybe i mean if you guys want like a, a hand but like <laughs> i just i'm not understanding i just i Ugh. Yeah, I don't get it. I think like what they what SM used to do really well was like camp type, like because yeah. yes. their outfits were campy. But um, there's a fine line, right? Like you yeah. you have to have the eye for it, and like you did at some point, and now it's gone. But um, what can you expect when their project managing skills are that Sucky. of a kindergartner's? Like they tried to style them like Hannah, and they styled them like Pussycat Dolls in mm. two thousand and one. Like it's not. <laughs> giving okay it wasn't giving it was just like i don't even understand the vision that they were trying to go for yeah me either and that's why i'm like so like the the showcase outfits right when they were all in like little gym things and then ning ning was in that little corset like jersey top thing which was kind of cute but the bottoms that they styled it with were fucking horrendous but sorry you guys were turning into a fashion podcast real quick but we're just like, saying it's just like they deserve better it's just like why like what is what does it have to do with the song whatsoever and the thing like, is that, like, at the beginning of the music video, I thought that they were going to do, like, okay, yeah, like, it's, just, like, maybe, like, a, a college. It, yeah, like, yeah. it looked like a very, like, American college, like, oh, my God, sorority type of shit, right? Like, we're going to go party. But, like. They didn't give me that. Excuse, the outfits just fucked it all up. Like, literally, it fucked it like, all up. Like, give me Clueless. Give me, like, yeah. something like that. Like, if they would have, because Karina had a little bit of, like, a share from Clueless-esque outfit on in the beginning, right? With, yes. like, the headband. Like, it was giving me Blair Ward dwarf like it was great That's what okay I thought they were going for and but then no, it just went they downhill just, it was just horrendous and also like what the fuck does this have to do with fucking espus universe what happened to us being like technology and in another realm and like all like <laughs> they, they threw that yeah they, they, even the ai it's wild quit. they <laughs> AI say i'm not doing it no more i can't take it <laughs> they said you're not dressing me in this ugly ass nft i'm out of here <laughs> literally like, no. Ew, yeah. get me out so yeah this was it was fun like the song is fun it's pretty and basic the choreo was hot like yes mm. like i think the mostly the music you know how sometimes we're just like yo the music video really helped the song yep. this one the music yep. video destroyed the song Literally. like the choreo's hot the girls are hot they they've yep. been styled before in beautiful gowns and be- beautiful dresses and beautiful clothes and then now they did this and i'm like listen the song is good it's it's again it's pretty basic but like it's still good to listen to it's fun yeah the visuals destroyed it for me i was like "Mm." exactly which like 
sucks because you want to watch the music video and be like, oh, yes, this makes the song so much better. But I just sat there like I want to turn this off because they look like they they look like, you know, when like cover like little girls in high school would like sing to the Jonas Brothers. Like these are the outfits that they would wear in the videos that they shot. <laughs> oh, my God. Literally 2007. Like 2000, which just makes me so mad because World. they're so beautiful, which also yeah. like they're OK. Mm. Their makeup also pissed me off. Yeah, it her look like she was dead. Like they put her in a shade way too light for her, and then they gave her the worst eye like shadow. I'm just so upset. I'm so upset because they're all so beautiful it's and they're so like talented, and then they just bleh. like that's all that they bleh. like. It's I'm so... gonna need the stylist from La Seraphim to just dip into SM real quick. Oh, shit. Get paid. Get that double check. And go from there because this ain't I'm it. I'm over Espa getting played so dirty. They've been getting played dirty since their damn fucking debut. Like, it's not even... <laughs> like, how do you have a member as fine as Ning Ning and you can't even style her correctly? I'm saying. I'm upset. They should be way more powerful than they... Like, and I get, I get, like, some people have said, like, seeing them live, like, that they don't have a lot of, like, stage presence or whatever. But, like, we've noticed that with all the groups that came out during COVID because of the online shit. But, like, they get better as they go, okay? So, like, let's move on from that. (laughs) I think Espa as a group, their concept and everything, it was really cool. Except for the AI thing. That that thing still freaks me out. But anyways, it's still really cool. So, the fact that SM is just self-sabotaging yet again. (laughs) It's just wild, bro, because Ning Ning is just... Ning Ning, just with Ning Ning, they could have like um, they could have had millions to have Ning Ning take over China. Boom, you're done. Like that's it. That's all it takes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just I'm so mad. I'm so mad for them. I'm mad for them. I know. Um, Icon though, um, they dropped oh you another very very happy and like yeah. fun and and funny icon. Song. Yes, very unexpected song. Like funky vibe. Yes. <laughs> I was living for it though, but Same. also okay. You know that part. I'm glad where, y'all were. Where they, that, <laughs> what? You, you didn't, didn't like, like it? it? I do not like the song at all. <laughs> oh, oh my damn. god, I love it! Like the best way I can describe the song is like freeing. I don't know. It just felt like very. It, yeah, it know. was just like. It, I mean, like, I can see that, but I just yeah. Mm, no. You want? Do you want like? Do I you, want icon. Like, <laughs> like, icon. Oh, yeah. you want the hard style? Yeah. If yeah. I listen to icon, I want icon but even when they did soft stuff they just had like a certain you know je ne sais quoi about them yeah it's <laughs> not this is not the je ne sais quoi <laughs> if you notice i mean like their latest single after what happened with bi and stuff like their music style change i think that they're still trying to maybe figure out what they want to do but like, yeah either way i really like this i think it may be like that free in um like aspect of it is like you know they got out of yg they're like a new company like they kind of want to do this like like just a fun like partying song like everything you know so much better with you so i think that it was like a very like cute like music video like how let's have fun together type of thing also Um, they look they look amazing oh my god let me tell you oh my god bro dk looks good he's so fucking fine Mm, bobby Bobby looks Delicious, mm-hmm. Damn. Jesus, mm-hmm. damn, Bobby, I, your your wife, wow, well, I know good your whole wife, good for her, good for her, good for good her. her, dang. Um, but also, cat, <laughs> the part where they left Junho behind, I was cackling because all I could think about was that big guy. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Like, I was dying at that. Like anytime I oh, see yuck. something like that, yuck that's all I think it. about. All I think about is Yuck screaming. <laughs> like, he was a minor at the time, okay? He was scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. But yeah, but I really like this. I like this icon. I feel like I love icon, but this just wasn't like for me. I wouldn't go back yeah. and listen to it. But I love that they're happy and they're like, you know, I out and they're yeah, fuck YG. <laughs> They're married. They're like with they, children. With children. <laughs> with <yeah>. children. <laughs> you know? I'm excited. Like, see, there. That's a group that I'm just like, damn. Like, I really want to see them live. Like, that show is gonna be so yeah. fun. Um, yeah. I can y'all. You know, there's this artist that y'all should have as your opener. Um, his name is Bi. I don't know if y'all know him. But, like, <laughs> I don't know if you guys know him. But, like, like, y'all I don't know if you've ever heard of him or anything. He sh- yeah, he should definitely open for y'all. Like, I think the vibes would be immaculate. But I will fucking say that this album, the Takeoff album, is really good. Besides you, 
I mean, I don't hate the song. I just don't. I wouldn't, like, actively listen to it. Yeah. But, like, the rest of it, amazing. Like a movie, fucking amazing. Driving slowly. Woo! Just, yes. Like, the whole, the album eats. Okay, and I'm so glad we finally got an Icon album, y'all. Okay, ten songs deep, y'all. We finally. Finally. We're, we survived YG. We're out. <laughs> we're out of this chaos. Like, like, damn. I haven't even heard the album yet. Like, again, I've been, I've been so damn busy good. with, like, packing and stuff. But It's good. I just want to see them thrive and keep it going, baby. Like they have this. They also have the song called "Fighting," which is like a trot song. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Why is this something that they would do? Yeah, I'm not like a trot song is like very trotty and like they like obviously very like jokey and it's great. I just I, I love. See, Icon. I love that. I love that about them. Like that's it makes them so like it's just they're just like a fun group yeah, yeah like exactly so it likeable. makes them such a like like such a likable group so they're iconic <laughs> 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 uh-huh. also um they're like even they they're like releasing um the combat the combat yeah they're yep. releasing like a version two of it yes i'm so excited oh so now everybody can still go and beat each other up with the bats please don't beat each that, other's so. asses with the <laughs> lightning <laughs> imagine a fight breaking out you do not want to fight anybody i've owned that light stick show. for five years and i'm finally gonna get to you <laughs> That's one of the best light sticks out there. That and the golden <laughs> child bowling pin. I love it. Yes. <laughs> I love it so yes. Much. The bowling pin. Never forget. But that was our podcast for this Woo-hoo-hoo. week, everybody. Hey. Um, so we're going to end this week like we do every week with our songs of the week. Um, so I've been listening to a lot of just random shit. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Felt. Um, the first thing I have been listening to, though, uh, we weren't able to talk about it because we skipped that week. But our boy Kia from One We made a solo debut, mm-hmm. and <laughs> it was fucking bomb as hell. So good. Did we expect anything less? No. I've been listening to Love Virus featuring Sonu. <laughs> from the boys even though it's a song that was already released before and this is just like the official release of it i love that song so much i've also been listening to his motherfucking title track time machine which is amazing and everyone should listen to it stand when we stand when we all just stand when we what y'all doing with your life um but because i've been listening to kia i've also been fucking listening to one we so aurora banger okay yes Yes. Trauma banger. Okay. <laughs> Regulus banger. Like just oh, iconic. Regulus forever would be one of the best K-pop best songs. K-pop out there. Song, oh my literally god. Literally ever to exist. Mm-hmm. Also been listening to a lot of shiny one of one. Replay, oddly. I don't know why. It's just like something I've been hey. actively listening to. And since the Lucas news, I've been listening to a lot of wavy. Oh! Oh um, but specifically a song that Lucas is not a part of, which is Lolo, Ten and Yang hey. Yang. Love that song. <laughs> Yes, and La Seraphim has been on fucking repeat. I forgive me. I'm a villain. I'm a. Hey, so, hey, yes. Hey. Those are the ones. I've been listening to Echo by Oneus, of course. Check it out. I've been listening to Drowning by Bobby <laughs> a lot. You right. um, So, you know, which also led me down to the rabbit hole that I always end up, which is what? His Lucky Man album, specifically <laughs> Rockstar. <laughs> And I've been listening to All Day by RM and Tableau. Ooh, a mood. What a mood. Mm -hmm. Um, So I've also been listening to like shit all over the place, but I've been in a five sauce kick, y'all. Like, so like that's not (laughs) K-pop, but like, you know, it happened. Uh, But yes. Um, but K-pop related, no, I've been still on my ex Heroes Hero. bag. I fucking love that album. Mm-hmm. Freaking bad. Good enough. They did a video for Good Enough and Baby. Oh my God. It's so good. It's such a good song. <sighs> also been listening to the Woods album. Uh, Deep Deep Sleep, speci- especially. I love that song. And also uh, Pool by Woods because it came on Shuffle the other day. I was like, this song slaps. Um, and also Shooting Star by XG because like my girls Period. and um, Cold. I've been listening to a lot of Cold. <laughs> um, he just released an album. Everybody go check it out. Yes, he did. And it's great. Yeah, it's such a good. He has a song with RM, which yes, is beautiful. A song with fucking Becky on in it, which is fucking beautiful. Like he just Cold. Ah, man, please tour the USA. Like, that so man I can is cry. just wild because he like releases like an amazing album then he disappears he don't do nothing for, yes and then he disappears <laughs> for, for like ever and then he releases another amazing album and then he does nothing he's like jibbing off they're both the same they like literally shit and then they disappear 
And then you're like, where are you? (laughs) So it's like funny because I remember I saw him. He posted. (laughs) He I think he posted on like his story or something. He was just like love part two coming soon. And I was like, so you're just you're just going to say that and then leave. And then then, like it came out like two days later. And that's how they leave. Yeah. Yeah. And then it came out like two days later or something. I was just like, listen, love part one was iconic. So I knew that love part two was going to be iconic. And it is. So everybody, again, check it out. Thank you. But those are my songs. Yes, that was our podcast for this week. Um, You know, whether you are working Black Magic to see just be in a random ass (laughs) anime convention, whether you, um, you know, are still thirsting over Changmin. Hey, that's my man. (laughs) Don't uh, forget it. Whether you are ready to watch this live stream for Zero Base One at KCON Japan at like four in the morning, make sure you always, always fangirl fangirl on. on.